today we're going to do pattern blocks. This is an absolute great activity for children because it teaches them early math. It teaches them patterns, colors, and shapes. And it's pretty simple. We're gonna do it with these different pattern block pictures. I will take pictures of them at the end. You can also find these great pattern blocks at this web address and you can print them out for free. And we are going to use these blocks. I got these blocks a long time ago. You can find them online, eBay, or at any teaching store. Wooden pattern blocks. All right. Are you ready, Tristan? Yes. Yes? Okay. So what I do for Tristan, because he's still pretty young, we normally lay the pattern, not the pattern, the shapes out that he needs to use so he doesn't have too many choices to choose from because he can get overwhelmed. Where does that go, Tristan? Let me see. Can you move your hand? Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Can you show me where those go? Not move. No. Now these pattern blocks go from more complex, or rather they go from pretty simple to more complex. So if your kiddo isn't quite ready for one that has that many shapes yet, you can do something as simple as the cat. Mm, no! It only has six shapes to work with. Can you help me? We normally name each shape as we go through. So Tristan, mm -hmm. where does the green triangle go? Can you show me where the green triangle goes? Okay, you put it there. Also, this helps with fine motor skills because they have to be able to turn the shapes and fit them right into the correct position. Good job, Tristan. Eye hand coordination is another really great value from this. No. You help me. <laughs> from this activity. You had it, honey. Now, it also teaches them patience. As you can see, he gets frustrated because it's hard for him sometimes to keep the shape still when he moves his hand. Good job. Can you try to scoot that one back into the right position? You help me. Well, you can do it, honey. You can do it. You can do it. Show me. I oh, bet you you can, can do it. Here he's working on the rabbit. You're doing great, Tristan. This helps develop long spans of attention as well. Ta -da! Okay, we're gonna go ahead and switch to the cat. Sometimes the larger puzzles can be frustrating for little kids. And the smaller ones are easier to get through at the beginning, so we're gonna try the cat. I've laid out all the pieces for Tristan to choose from. So let's go ahead and do the cat, Tristan. We have the beige diamond. Remember to lay it flat. He likes for the tail to move, so he likes to put it on the side. Can you help me, Beach? You can do it. You can do it. Yes, but I bet you can do it too. Perfect. <laughs> there is the green triangle ear and another green triangle ear. Ta -da. All right, do the other two pieces. What color is that, Tristan? Bubble. That's not purple. That is yellow like the sun. Hexagon. That's yellow like the sun. That's a hexagon. Can you say hexagon? Hexagon. Hexagon. Good job. Okay, let's do those are red trapezoids. Can you say trapezoid? Trapezoid. Good job. Oh, let's look at the trapezoid. Perfect. <laughs> look, well, Dad, look. And he's showing it off to Dad. Okay, Tristan, can you say thanks for watching? Thanks for watching me. All right, see you later.